Hello, welcome back to another season of Super Mega Baseball. This one has a fun twist. We're playing as a Shoe Shiners, of course, but every other team in the league is a custom team made by me and my Twitch chat. The first team we're playing today is the Pogger Loggers. They consist of tree puns and Twitch emotes as their players. You can see Pog Champ is a pitcher, Kappa, Baby Rage, and Resident Sleeper. There, there's some tree puns, trust me. But I made an intro video to the league introducing every team. So you should probably go watch that before you watch this one because it won't really make a whole lot of sense. There is some built up lore that we've had in the chat for like a week or two. And also, I'm going to be playing five inning games this time instead of nine. So it's a five inning shoe shiners game. But I have a second team called the Origami Killers, which is a David Cage themed team. All the characters are from David Cage games and funny David Cage references. So they're my second team. So I have here's a league. I'm going to the league. The Boomer Division is the one the shoe shiners are in which has sugar posters chaps shoe shiners crabs and pogger loggers and the zoomer division has mcdonald's and frosers td or t ballers primers and the origami killers the origami killers will be my team in the zoomer division so basically it's a 16 game season but you're going to see 32 games because i'm going to put a shoe shiners game then an origami game in one video but they're going to be shorter so the video shouldn't be longer so without further ado let's kick it off with game one pogger loggers versus shoe shiners all right boys we won the championship last season but we can't get too comfortable there <laughs> see like i have no people there's no people in the stands because covid isn't that funny i think it's funny let's play ball oh wow it looks really bad with no fans actually whatever i'm gonna keep it like that for now makes me laugh First pitch is a strike from hate to see her go. You'll love to see it. Oh, crap. Senza! Nope. Okay. Base hit. Not the strongest start, but it's fine. Again, only five innings, so... Players and pitchers tire out faster. And every hit matters more. Because you have way less of them to spend. I don't think so. Oh, that's a bad throw. Ah, yeah. I could have got him, but it was a bad throw to Senza. It's not Senza's fault. It's the catcher's fault. The catcher is Ted Eeyore. So, yeah, it's Ted Eeyore's fault. Crap, I have a TD or team. Back a second, no one's covering second. Okay. It's fine. Got that one out. Let's go change up. Got him. Fastball outside. There we go. Locked in Lachlan. Hey, I remember him. He's still commenting to this day. Whoa, he's going to third. I don't think so. Got him. Nope. Oh, no. Gary. The hero Gary. Dropping his first play of the season. That's not good. That is not good. Maybe Gary won't be the hero this season. We'll see. So we're currently pitching to Baby Rage. Very funny emote. Nice. And Jessup with the easy catch. A little dicey, but a scoreless inning nonetheless. And now your boys, Lizzie Softy, the leadoff batter. I'm playing on Ego 75, by the way. You probably can't tell from that home run, but this is a little harder than I usually play. Cha-ching. One point. One pitch, one point. Too easy. Corey Shin. Oh, my God. I got to turn it up. If that's a home run, I'm turning the difficulty up right now. Okay, never mind. I'm keeping it at 75. Sends a long shot. Should have swung. That was a good one. Pog chant, the pitcher's not very good. Can you make it to second? He's kind of slow. He's kind of Vladdy Jr. Okay, he made it barely. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oboe's getting cocky after two pitches. Hey, look, it was almost two home runs. It was a pretty good start. Ah, oh, that was bad. Shouldn't have swung at that. Ugh. Hang on. Death the Striker, what's up? Thank you for the sub. Uh, YouTube people, Death the Striker is one of the team captains. He is the team captain of the Enfrosers team. So when the Enfrosers come out to play, look out for him. He's going to lead him to victory. Oh my god. I was still looking at chat. Oh, nope. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. Got to bring that runner home. Oh, that's bad. No plate discipline. What was that? What am I thinking? That was real bad. All right, see, there, there's one. Woody Harrelson. I told you they were tree puns. What did I tell you? I told you they were there. 
Swing the bat. He's afraid to swing. We can use this to our advantage. Nice. Crap. Jessup. It's going to be a tough one. Tough play for Jessup. Nope. Okay. I should have run back more. I couldn't judge it. It was a difficult ball to judge. All right. Runner on second to start it off. Not great. Okay. L-E-U-L. -E oh, it's lull. It's supposed to be L-U-L, lull. He kind of looks like Total Biscuit, see? My jokes are so good that I forgot what they even are. Hey, Bremmold, thank you for gifting a sub to Sheep McLovin. Oh, who's going to get it? Gary. Okay, Gary, don't drop it this time. Out of my way to see her go. I got it. Sheep McLovin, your nickname can be I'm the bad guy. It's funny because sheep. Tree Diddy. Is that just... That's terrible. That's a really bad pun. The Pogger Loggers are not my favorite team. The lore of the Pogger Loggers is that they're basically the Astros of the league because they will cheat and play dirty and do whatever it takes to win. They have gone on record saying they tried to assassinate rival coach Eklong of the Sugar Posters. So they will literally kill you to win. Got to be careful around these guys. They threw a ball right at Eklong's face and injured his vision. And also, they like tried to assassinate him in the parking lot, I think, was the lore. It's very a lot of lore over here on Twitch. On YouTube, you only get half the story. So come on over to Twitch and watch it on Twitch. Or don't, because, I mean, same content pretty much. Just waste less of your time. How'd they even get in the league if they're literal hitmen? Well, it's pretty easy. When somebody said you're not allowed to join the league, they mysteriously disappeared. The hero Gary draw on the walk. Look at this guy. The hero Gary knows his plate discipline. Maybe, maybe he should have swung at some of those. Okay. Oh, maybe. Oh, hey, hey. Fumble. Oh, fumble Ruski by the pitcher there. The hero Gary will take it. Not the cleanest, but he'll take it. Oh, come on. Gary's not running. Twitch is the extended universe. Exactly. If you want to, like, read the comics, Twitch is the comics. If you're on YouTube right now, you're watching, like, the Marvel movie. But if you want to know the deep lore, you got to come over on Twitch. Read some action comics. Okay. TDO, come on, man. Lock it in. Lock it in. Nice. Nice take. I'm stealing. He can make that, right? Yeah, fumble. Making it work. Locked in Lachlan. Let's take a moment and celebrate Locked in Lachlan's return. He's back. He represents the YouTube comments. YouTube comments, this is your man. Ace combat. Randomizer. Nope. Oh, no. Lachlan, come on, man. <laughs> Leave him on Lachlan. The nickname sticks. Did Lachlan comment on every video? Yeah, he's still doing it. He's still going. All right, Senza, easy catch. Diaper booty gang. Senza's the kind of guy who'd pull a Trevor Bauer and promote his own merch during a game. Like, he's probably wearing diaper booty gang cleats. There's an MLB player named Trevor Bauer who, like, wears his own t-shirts, and then when the game's over, he, like, takes off his jersey, and he's wearing his t-shirt as advertising. Pretty smart tactic, honestly. like of a YouTuber. It's like if a CSGO guy, like an eSports guy, <laughs> let me put it in terms for gamers to understand. It's like if a CSGO player had their own line of merch separate from like FaZe. It's like if FaZe Jarvis had like the Jarvis collection. It's not FaZe. And after he won Fortnite, he stood up and took off his uh, FaZe jersey and he had a Jarvis t-shirt that said, go buy my Jarvis shirt on under it. It's like that. That's going to get hit. Yep. Ooh, foul ball though. Bang. Easy. Bo Rock is going to come in clutch. We don't need Bo Rock, Lavac. Our whole bullpen is still healthy. Hey, look, a pitcher hitting. You won't see that this season. That's why. Is FaZe Jarvis on a team? I don't know. I feel like I definitely put him on a team. But I might not have. Which would be a big disservice to my man Jarvis. We're going to see every team this season. That's why I'm playing as Origami Killers as well. That way we have two perspectives, so we make sure to get lots of experience versus all my custom teams here. 
That's the great thing about this game is the customization. This is one of the best customization for a sports game I've seen. Granted, this is like the only sports game I've played seriously, like ever. But it is pretty good. Where else are you going to make Pog champion your pitcher? Where's Britley? Britley's a pitcher. She's not pitching today. Hate to see her go is our best pitcher. So she's starting it off. Nope. Okay. Let one through, but it's fine. Actually, it is a five inning game. So her stats, yeah, her stats are dropping. We might consider taking her out depending on how bad this inning goes. He's slamming that one. Let's go down low. Down low. Ooh, snuck it in there. All right. And now we give him, I have a cutter. I haven't even been using that. Cut fastball. Didn't even see it coming. He's like, what, you have that? I didn't know I had that either. Bang. Let's use that cutter more, dude. Cutter. I hardly know her. I don't think so. Easy throw. Look at that. By a mile. Not even close. I respect the hustle, but come on. No chance against a guy like TDR. And now we break him inside. Nope. Change up low. Whoop. All right. Easy grounder. The routine play. These games are a little faster. I kind of like the faster pace. See, when I did the first season, I was like, if you're not playing nine innings, it's not real baseball. You know, I was being real elitist, but this game's online mode is five inning games, and I've been playing a lot of that, so now five innings seems like normal for me. In this more arcade style, a shorter format does not hurt. The only downside is you get less of your batting order. Like, whoever's at the top of your order is way more important because they're going to be like... You have less at bats, you know? So the people at the top are going to be way more important than they would be normally. Nope. Nope. The best marketing campaign for SMB4 would be for them to pay an actual baseball team to use the names of the players in this game. That'd be hilarious, dude. What am I doing? I'm getting frozen here. I'm only up one run. It's not a huge lead. There we go. One of the players' names in the base game is named Jax Often. I want to see what MLB player will name themselves Jax Often. This ump is blind. I know, right? Finna call that a strike, probably. Hey, what's up, Phaedra? How you doing? Bang. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Okay. Um, should I bring in a reliever? Let's see. What do we got? B burrito. B burrito. Yes, yeah, who B burrito? He's good. Marcus is B burrito. Bah. Oh crap. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Well, that was the wrong call. I don't think things could have gone much worse there. So it is no longer going to be a short game. It could still, you know, it could be a short game if they run up the score here. Let's hope they don't, though. Huh. Mm. I'll do his stats. His stats went down so low from that home run, they demoralized him. My man, B. Burrito. But you got to face three batters before you can pull him. What the? Jessup! What was that? What was that, dude? What are you doing? Oh, my God. Don't go home. No. I should have cut it off. That's sloppy fundamentals. I should have had the cutoff, man. I just assumed they wouldn't go for third. They took advantage of me, dude. They seriously took advantage of me slacking. I got to give it to them on that one. The home run, nah, I don't think that was fair. But they caught me slacking on defense there. And now, B Burrito cannot hit the strike zone. We're falling apart. Okay, I can bring in a different reliever now because he faced three batters. Whew, okay. One out. Stop reading chat. It's too tempting. I want to read chat. I want to say hi to my friend Phaedra. He's in chat. All right. B Burrito, you are not here. Dirk Sider? Ooh, Dirk Sider. You know what Dirk Sider has? The curveball. Ooh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Give me that strike call. No. What the heck, dude? <laughs> no. That's not even close. That's real bad. Okay. We can't afford the Poggers to win. Yeah, I know. Uh, nobody should be rooting for the Pogger Loggers, by the way. I said I know I said pick a team, but don't pick this team. This team sucks. There's way better teams. Bring in Josh Kappa. Thinks he's hot stuff. 
Down by two. Not a good place to be. We had it in the bag, and we just threw it in the trash. You're out. The logger's main strategy is striking him out while he interacts with chat. Yeah, they play, they play dirty. I'm trying to do fan interaction. I'm trying to do a player interview during the game. And they're just capitalizing on that. It's not technically cheating, but it's dirty. Jessup, please. Okay. Jessup, that was some terrible outfielding. I gotta say. That was real bad. Alright, we need two runs. Two runs. Oh my god, Leafy. Look at Leafy's stats. <laughs> Leafy is here. Dear lord, he is here. Nope. Alright, one out. It's fine. Two runs for two outs. Locked in lock one. Get the rally going. Get the rally going, lock one. Plate discipline. Plate discipline. I got a swing. That was probably a ball, but I couldn't tell in time. All right. Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. No, 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 no. I don't want Dirk. I don't want Dirk up for this. Pinch hit. Pinch hit. Who do we got? That's good. Um, Peter Ross back, right? Yeah, Peter Ross back. He's fine. Come on, Peter. I got to stop swinging at that, man. The velocity change got me good. On Ego 75, the fastballs are fast. <laughs> okay. Well, not a great start for the Shoe Shiners, but maybe the Origami Killers will have a better time. So here's the new team, the Origami Killers. We got Gun Gun, named after my favorite David Cage character, Gun. Uh, David Cage himself, Jackie Boy, Rich Evans, who's the guy from the beginning of Car Story. Lots of great David Cage characters. And we're going up against McDonald's. This is a team that is sponsored by McDonald's, and their logo is a skull with Sans eyeball, but. You can't really tell because it's kind of small, but the Sands eyeball is actually a hamburger because it represents how Eden McDonald's will kill you. So let's meet the new team. We got Aiden Ghost, David Cage, Broken Glass, Sharpest Razors, Jackie Boy, Nolman Jaden, Rich Evans, Citizen Cage, Jason, Gun Gun, and on the bench we have Willem Dafoe, Ellen Page, Detective Hank, North Killer, that was the uh, girlfriend of Marcus, I think, 76 Chevy, the car, Choices matter. <laughs> Choices matter. How my story ends. Dude, how my story ends is a freaking amazing closer. That's going to be hilarious. And I can't access the bench, but one of them is named Chocolate Chunk. So, pretty good. First up, Aiden the Ghost versus Frosty Wendy. Frosty Wendy is actually a terrible pitcher. The McDonald's team is not very good, by the way. They're known for being probably the worst team in the whole league. But McDonald's wanted to sponsor a team, so that team said yes. Who knows what their original personalities were. They've all been erased by McDonald's-themed characters and names. What am I doing? I'm reading chat. I gotta stop reading chat. Uh, you may also notice that Wendy is not from McDonald's. I realized, like, three characters in that McDonald's lore is not super deep. So it's just various fast food chains is the names of the players. Not really sure why they rallied around McDonald's as their logo, but they did. There's, there's Chick-fil-A. See, at first base. All right, glass. Broken glass. Sharp as razors. I hopped to Chick-fil-A, gets out, broken glass, sharp as razors. And now Ronald McDonald coming up the bat, but Gun is on the mound. Gun! Ooh, Ronald McDonald fighting for it. You never put Grimace on the McDonald's team, I'm so sad. There's no purple skin option. One thing I would like for this game, developers, is add more funky colors for the hair and skin, because right now you can only do like realistic colors. But I say screw it. I want to make like a Mike Wazowski team where they're all green. You know, I want to make an orc team from Warhammer. I want Gazgul Thraka as my pitcher. He's got to be bright green. For the wag, you know? Wag for the wog. It's for the wog. For the wag. What am I doing? Oh, let me call a wambulance. The score, thanking his lucky star, is that baseball number scoring system was invented every time he has to score an oboe game. What do you mean? You mean... I don't understand what you're saying. Hang on. The score, thanking his lucky stars that baseball number scoring was invented every time he has to score an oboe game. Oh, oh, I get it. You're saying because, like, the pitcher is, like, number one. Because every position has a number. So if he didn't have that, he'd have to write down International House of Pancakes when the ball <laughs> went to the second baseman there. Understood. Jason. Oh, Jason. 99 power. Will it make it? Oh, close. That was so close. That was a good save by Jason, though. A good play, but couldn't turn it around. Burger King. All right, gun. Not afraid of Burger King. Huh. Ball high. Haven't been throwing a lot of balls. Gotta go with more balls. 
Whoop. Ball inside. Also, um, the David Cage team, the Origami Killers. They are named the Origami Killers, in case you didn't know, because in heavy rain, uh, nobody can say the word origami because they're all French voice actors. So when they say origami, they go, oh, wow, an origami. They can't say it. It's pretty funny. And they have pinstripes and they're gray because their uniform is like a cage because they have a cage. So they're supposed to be like a prison cell uniform. Who's running? He's going to get second base. You little piece of crap. Oh, it's three outs. Don't even care. Lol. Jackie boy. Here we go. Nolman Jaden. Oh, Jackie boy. Look at that blooper. Don't dive. He didn't dive. He could have got it if he dived. Cheeky Nando's to International House of Pancakes. A good sports game. <gasps> Nolman Jaden. Dude, Nolman Jaden and Jackie boy are right next to each other in the lineup. I didn't even realize that. It's perfect. They've had their differences, but now they're working together. I'm Nolman Jaden with the FBI. That's down. Ooh, didn't catch it. Okay, good, good, good. The Origami Killers might be doing better than the Shoe Shiners so far. We're only one game in, but we'll see. I want a 40k team. A 40k team would be cool. That's a good lore. But I don't want to be too obscure. You know, I feel like a 40k lore team would be a little obscure. So I went with a more a more well-known team. So I want this to be enjoyed by a wide audience. That's why I made a whole team of inside references to David Cage games. I feel like that's very well known. Like Citizen Cage, <laughs> based on one poster in a guy's bedroom in Fahrenheit, which nobody even played. It's it's it, people will understand that. They'll see it and they go, ah, I get it. It's clever, you know. Like if I put Space Brain, people will be like, Space Brain, what's that? Some kind of Space Force thing? I've never heard of that. Do they have a Funko Pop? Ooh, okay. I did say Frosty Wendy was bad. Ugh. Don't catch that. Please go foul. Okay, we're good. We're good. I got bases loaded, dude. I can freaking Tatis it right here. Let's go. Tatis. Oh, my God. Come on, gun. You hate to see the pitcher up in this kind. That was so low. This ump is blind. Oh, get through. Get through. Get through. No, get through. Oh, my God. The pitcher is so slow. Dang it, dude. Gun was too slow. He couldn't make it. That sucks. Well, gun, make up for it on the mound. Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's going to be a leadoff double. Dark Souls team. I have a Dark Souls team, actually. I didn't put them in the league because they're not, like, customized. The names are customized, but nothing else is. I got to work on the character appearances. Again, the customization of this game, insane. Status report. Gun did not make up for it on the mound, yeah. Not the strongest performance, or was it? Or was it? All right. I like it. Able to get cheeky and try to steal third. I'd like that. I could stop that easy peasy in my sleep. And then we got to give him maybe a high change up. Could be good. Huh? Yes. Read his mind. I go low every time. I'm lucky he didn't swing. I realized my pattern. Let's go with a high curveball. Give him the curveball. Nice. Oh, what? That was a strike? This umpire hates me, dude. What did I do to him? He must have been paid off by McDonald's. He was paid off by Ronald. He got a happy, he got a free Happy Meal toy for calling the game against me. I know the tricks. If it was a modern Happy Day toy, Happy Day? If it was a modern Happy Meal toy, that's inexcusable, honestly. But if it was one of the Bionicle Tohungos, then that, that's fair. Because those things are great. If he gave him, like, Jawa, then I would I would do it, too. I'd rig the game for Jawa. What was the first round pairing? The first round was Shoe Shiners and Pogger Loggers. And Shoe Shiners blew the lead. And Pogger Loggers snuck in and won it at the last second. The old Transformers toys that actually train... Okay, hang on. That was a great pitch. I got to stop reading chat. The old Transformers toys that actually transformed was sick. Yeah, dude, I had a freaking French fry that could turn into a robot. That was a cool toy. Very dumb, but Optimus Prime would, like, 
walk around with a chicken nugget robot. <laughs> Good times. So what I'm noticing from the origami killers is they're not that great in terms of batting. Their stats are pretty bad. Bat? Stats are pretty bat? Huh? Huh? No? Okay. Broken glass. Sharp as razors. Hmm. What? That's not a. That's not a strike. Dude, this. These calls are insane. What is that? That's. Mm, I swung at that, but still. That probably would have been called with this umpire. If that's gonna get caught. Warning track, though. That was a terrible swing. Like bad contact. I'm surprised I went that far. I must have got like 99 power on that sucker. All right, Jackie boy, drive him home. You can do it. Oh, ah, Chick-fil-A. Open on Sundays. Down low and gun again. Predictable, but it's a popper. Got away with it. Rich Evans with the catch. Nice job. Is there umpire inaccuracy in this game? The devs' official stance is no, but there definitely is, dude. There's so many times, but like, what? I feel like the umpire has, like, a randomly generated, like, leeway zone for every game. And, like, the devs just deny that to make it more realistic. But it definitely feels like it. It might just be a placebo. Because I'm mad that I get strikes called against me that aren't strikes. But I feel like there is one. The people who program the game say it's not there. But I, I don't think they know what they're talking about. I think they might be wrong about this one. Low fastball is risky. What if it's this low, though? Fastball in the dirt. Nope. Hi. Hey, oh, get it, get it. Are they socially distancing in the dugout? They're not wearing masks. You can't make the players wear masks. If I could make the players wear masks, I would have. I do have the no stands, though, for COVID baseball. Got it. Easy. I need cardboard cutouts. Dude, if I could have cardboard cutouts of subscribers in the audience, that'd be, oh, my God. That would take this game to the next level. I am noticing noticeably better performance, though without a giant audience. That's good. Don't. Oh, my God. I hop is too good, man. He's good at second base there. Oh, don't catch that, Ronald. Ugh. Should have swung. That was beautiful. That was not so beautiful. That was okay. I'll give it you that one. That was a strike. Sure. Sure. Oh, but that's a hit. Don't catch that. Don't catch that. Ooh, steak and shake. That's accurate. Steak and shake sucks. Jason, here we go. I believe. 99 red balloons. Ooh. Look at that. Snuck it past him. Gun. Oh, no. Guns up. Why does a pitcher keep coming up in clutch situations? I might pull him. And get a reliever. And it's only the fourth inning. I kind of want him because he's like my best pitcher on this team. We'll make it work. Run. Ah. Oh, don't catch it. Don't catch it. Don't catch it. Ah, dang it. Big hat Arby. Arby's. I'm not a huge Arby's guy either. Is that the bat too? Oh my God. He catches the ball. He comes to the plate. Well, guess what? Dinner is served. An easy catch for David Cage himself. The genius. Do you like Jim Stakeout? Never heard of it. Must be regional. Cutter. Nope. Cutter. Anticipated. Oh, you're going to anticipate me, huh? All right. How about that? Oh, boy. Citizen Cage. Oh, dang it. Okay. I should not have thrown a fastball there. Burger King with the home run. Good job, Burger King. Doesn't make sense, though, because Burger King's bad, too. Subway. Ooh, eat fresh. Gun Gun is rattled. I might take him out. Also, in shorter games, the AI uh, learns your pitching pattern faster. So in a normal game of Super Mega Baseball, a nine-inning game, around the fifth inning, the AI will get a big buff against your pitching if you do the same pattern, which you probably will because you're human and you're flawed and you're worthless. I mean, look at you. But in shorter games, they learn it by, like, inning three. So if you don't switch your pitcher, then the AI can really smack him. That's going to get smacked. No, it didn't. Okay. All right. Change of pie. Huh. I'm trying to use gun, though, to get out of this inning. Be ideal. 
kind of can bring in how my story ends for the ending. Break. There we go. 69 ego, no, 75 ego. Nope, I keep going there. It worked out, but I'm predictable. Okay, here we go. Aiden Ghost. Not my best hitter. Oh, or is he? Nope. Okay, it's a popper. He's making excuses. I'm not making excuses. Oh, David Cage. I don't need excuses with David Cage with the bat. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Citizen Cage. I got to stop swinging at the first pitch. I haven't played this game in a while. The last time I played it was like last week. So I got to... Oh, dear. The entire game rests on broken glass. Hey, sharp as razors. He made it. These are warm-ups. Yeah, this is just spring training. That's why there's no fans. These don't really count. Oh, Jackie Boy. I like that. I like Jackie Boy in this situation. They're probably going to walk him. But I want a strike. Because Jackie Boy can slam a strike. But Gnome and Jaden can't. Oh, what is that? Oh, God. Terrible. I saw the off-speed coming, and I wanted to swing on off-speed, but it was a ball. Okay. Two losses to begin the season. Shoe Shiners and Origami Killers, both down one game, but it's early in the season, so it's fine. 